Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cash stuffing video and it's going to be for the second paycheck of the month. And this check I received today, which is June 5th, but I will post it tomorrow, which is Saturday. But anyways, um, so my current leftover that I currently have in my checking account is $51.63 and any money left over, I just transferred it into savings and that money is going to go to towards my new house. And then my check, my check came out to be $1,236 with 26 cents. Okay. And so we're going to add this up. So 51, 63 plus $1,236 with 26 cents is a total of $1,287.89. Okay. All right. So this check, I have no bills to pay with. And we're going to go on to my cash envelopes. And so for my cash envelopes, I have, let's not stick it on. So I'm just going to write the total up here. That I have to work with. So I have groceries this week. And for groceries, I buy groceries every two weeks. And I budget 280 for groceries. And it's for a family of five. But since I'm currently living with my mom, we both chip in. But I, st I still spend the 280s for groceries. And then I have fuel. And for fuel, is $55. But I won't be taking out cash for it, but I will subtract it in my tracking spender just because I'm going to transfer that $55 towards my credit card that I got. And the only reason that I got a credit card was because my credit score is at a 715 and they want me to be around a 730 or a 750. That way when we close on our house, when we are done building our forever home, then my credit score will be a little bit up. So that's the only reason I got a credit card. So we decided to use it for fuel and for like certain things like I, and like birthday presents. So my, I ordered my kids birthday presents, my daughter and then my sons online. So I just use that money and I'm just gonna deposit back into the bank and then transfer it over to pay off the debt for my credit card, okay? And then the next one is for my pet. And my pet, I'm allocating $40. And then my husband's allowance and my allowance. And they're both $20 each. And then haircut. And my haircut is going to be $50 that I'm going to allocate for. And then that gives me a total of, so let's add them, 280 plus 55 plus 40 plus 20 plus 20 plus 50 is a total of 465. Okay, and so 1287.89 minus 465 leaves me with $822 with 89 cents, okay? And then for my sinking funds, these are still the same and it's Christmas, back to school, my house fund, family fund, car maintenance and birthdays and holidays okay and so I'm going to write the total up here so eight hundred and twenty two dollars with eighty nine cents okay and so for Christmas I allocated forty four dollars for back to school thirty two dollars for my house fund is 138, family fund is 50, car maintenance is 100, birthdays and holidays is 50, okay? 
And then we're going to add those up. So 44 plus 32 plus 138 plus 50 plus 100 plus 50 is a total of $414. Okay. So 822 with 89 cents minus 414 is a total of 408.89. And then out of those 489, 489, $408 with 89 cents, I always put $100 into savings. And that brings my total to 308.89. Okay, so then on to the fun part, and that's the cash stuffing part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this, I'm going to zoom you guys out just a little bit and then I'm just going to put the money on the side. And then when I was setting up for this video, I forgot to take out, um, so I'm going to add another sinking fund. I'm going to add my stockpile sinking fund. And I'm going to try to do $50 per paycheck for my stockpile. And what that fund is for is I want to start stuck, um, stocking up on stockpile. So like I want to start buying detergent that is on sale. Like a little bit extra. Basically kind of couponing with so I can buy laundry detergent. What else? Um, toilet paper, toothpaste, anything that I can stockpile until I move into our house. That way we have a little basically stockpile and I'll be okay for a while. So, and I forgot to take that money out. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna allocate it later, use it in my tracking, my spending track, my spending sheet and then just take out the $50 out of there but um, yeah I'm thinking of even doing a video I think I am gonna do a video of what I bought at Walgreens and Family Dollar and I think I only I did about I, I think it was maybe $40 I spent but I'm I think I'm gonna share that with you guys that way you guys can see I guess my beginning of my stockpile Anyway, so let's get this video started. So the first one is groceries, and for groceries, I took out 280. So one, two, 250, 70, 80. I put these wrong again. Okay. And then for groceries, For groceries, I have nothing. Okay. The next one is pet. And for pet is $40. So 20, 40. And for pet, I have a total of... 20, 30, 40 dollars. And I did not write this. So six, what is today's date? Six, five. I'm gonna do, so, so I have 40, 60, 70, 80. So I'm just gonna start it with here, 80 dollars. Okay. Okay, and the next one is my husband's allowance and my allowance, and these are both $20 each. So $20, $40, and I will put this aside. The next one is haircut. I said that funny, haircut, and that's $50. And for my haircut, my daughter wants to get her haircut, so I currently have $13, so $5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then I'll be adding fifty. Okay, so six, five, 
plus 50 is a total of, so 13 plus 50 is $63. Okay. $63. All right, and the next one is for my Christmas fund, and that is $44. So 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. And for Christmas, I currently have $971. And I'm adding 44. That brings my total up to 1015. So 6, 5 plus 44 equals 1015. Okay. Okay. And I really need to exchange these for bigger bills. I will eventually. Okay, um, for back to school is $32. So I got 20, 30, 31, 32. And for back to school, I currently have $704. Okay, and then that brings, so let's see, 704 plus 32 is a total of 736. 704, I'm just double checking, 704 plus 32, Alright, the next one is my house fund, and my house fund is 138. So 120, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. And for my house fund, I currently have. Twenty-one forty-one plus one hundred and thirty-eight equals twenty-two seventy-nine. So six five plus one hundred and thirty-eight equals two twenty-seven nine. Okay. Alright, and the next one is Family Fun, and Family Fun is $50. And for Family Fun, I currently have one, two, three, four, five dollars. Okay. And the next one is Car Maintenance. Car Maintenance is a hundred. And for my car maintenance, my son completed with his half. So we have $1,000. So out of these $1,000, we currently have 1,110. But my son completed the other half to buy his engine. So I'm proud of him. So, so I will have less money next time. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, 1,000, wait, 1,100 and, what the heck? 1,110 plus 100, what the heck? See, why am I stressing myself? 100, so I got 20, 12, 10. Okay, 
So next time, my car maintenance envelope will be less. Okay, the next one is birthdays and holidays, and that's $50. And for birthdays and holidays, my son's birthday was this week. It was on the 4th. And so we took out some money for his cake, and then he, I ordered him uh, a game online. Not, on, not online, yeah. I ordered him a little toy online and so I took out $40 and I have it here. I still need to deposit it. That way I can pay my credit card for for it. But anyways, I currently have for the birthday and holidays fund 20, 40, 60, 80, and then I'm gonna be adding 50. Okay. So six, five, plus 50 equals so 80 plus 50 is a total of 130 and now I'm going to be saving up for Father's Day all right and so the total amount that I took out this pay period was eight hundred and twenty four dollars and then the money that I have, I have $308 left over. I will probably, let's see, let me zoom you guys out. Yeah, so I have, so I currently have $308.89 left over. So I will probably do $250 and keep the $58 in my checking and then the rest will go into savings. But anyways. But this is it for this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye.